The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has unveiled Dati Baba Ahmed as his running mate ahead of the 2023 general elections. Dati Baba Ahmed, a Nigerian economist and founder of Bates University in Abuja, was announced as the Labour Party vice presidential candidate at the party's headquarters in Abuja. Baba Ahmed was announced hours after the director general of the Peter Obi campaign organization, Doing Okupe, announced his withdrawal as the vice presidential candidate of the party. Obi adds that Baba Ahmed was chosen based on his track record and experience in both Nigerian's public and private sectors. People had thought we will not be able to attain this. And I'm happy today that what they thought was not possible had become possible. And this is a clear message to those who have held the country hostage that they should begin to note that the time is up. The ruling oligarchy in Nigeria that have held those hostage over the years must begin to get the notice that it's no longer business as usual. The time of the people has come. The people's movement has come. It is time for the people of Nigeria to be liberated from hunger, from poverty, from, from unemployment, from insecurity, and bad governance. And that is what is playing out today. I must say clearly that our Excellency has made it very, very clear that he's going to make the country, he's going to move the country from being a consumption country to a production country. The credentials, the behavior, the antecedents of our presidential candidate is very, very obvious. It's unparalleled. And therefore, you need a vice presidential candidate that will be able to measure up to this. Comrade Peter B cannot do it alone. He needs people like himself. He needs men and women of credibility men and women of dignity, result-oriented men, men with innovative ideas to change the narratives of the country. And that is why we quietly went into a, into a search to look for such person to be vice presidential candidate. <laughs> and in line with our promise to Nigerians that we are going to bring the finest Northern a Muslim, a philanthropist, a man of many parts, to be the vice president have gone, and today we have succeeded. <laughs> there is no gain saying the fact that the man we are presenting will complement our presidential candidates. We've gone around, consulted, searched around to look for, like the chairman has said, somebody who will fit the bill of what we're trying to do. And I'm about to tell you that we have been able to meet and secure somebody who is eminently qualified. Fit the bill to be the vice president of Nigeria. I know people will say, you're not there yet. But I can tell you, I know where we're going. This is our march to secure, unite, and make Nigeria productive. And you can't do it without having people who have similar vision, similar idea, and are prepared for that onerous tax. I have very distinctive honor to present to you somebody I can call a friend, a younger brother, because I'm senior, which is what I've said to you. 
a younger brother, and God willing, the next vice president of Nigeria. In the name of Senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed. Who have been described who have been described as one of the brightest youngest personalities in Nigeria that has distinguished himself in all areas. <laughs> what we are doing is not just two of us, we are bringing all Nigerians into this big tent where everybody will be involved because we want to end the primitive politics of ethnicity, mm. religion, mm. and all sorts of things. Like I've said, show me where in the north <coughs> where there's uninterrupted electricity. Show me where people are not hungry. Show me where there's no poverty in the north. Show me where people are prospering and industries. Unemployment is not in the north. Show it to me in the south. There's none. The undeniable, unchallengeable, fundamental reason for being on this ticket is to rescue Nigeria. Good job. <laughs> It goes logically and without saying that you can only rescue that which is in trouble. Nigeria is in a great deal of trouble. Yes. I cannot afford not to be part of the movement to rescue Nigeria. <laughs> the second reason is that I believe in the greatness of Nigeria. I believe there will be peace and prosperity. I believe Nigerian people will unite. In fact, let me debate a bit. Having come from educational background, I belong to the system in which you walk into a classroom, after one hour you come out a changed person. Mm. Ever since I met His Excellency Peter Obi, I have been changing every time we see mm. There is a message I'm going to carry and I'll continue to disseminate that.